Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you guys how to take a MAC pigment and press it into pan form so that it can fit in your MAC palettes. Like that. Um, just a quick word about this. You can use MAC pigments, but you can also use other sorts of pigments. And you can also take an eyeshadow and crush it up and put it in a pan using this method. But you can't use mattes or glitters, so just keep that in mind. So what you're going to need for this is a pigment. This is MAC Melon Pigment. You're going to need some sort of little spoon. I got these at CoastalScents.com. They were $6.50 for 30 You can just use a medicine dropper or a little spoon you have in your kitchen. You're going to need rubbing alcohol, a little jar to mix everything up in, empty tin. I got this at StarsMakeupHaven.com, so I'll put links in the sidebar. So what you're going to do is you're first going to take your pigment and you're going to take your little scooper and you're just going to scoop out some pigment into your jar. I put a paper towel down just to keep it from being too messy because it does tend to get everywhere even if you try to be not messy. Next you're going to take, I'm going to use another little spoon and you're going to take your rubbing alcohol going to put some drops of rubbing alcohol. You can always add more powder or more liquid if you need to. So just guess at the beginning. Then I'm going to take the other ends of my little stick and I'm going to stir it. You want to make this a paste consistency. The more liquidy it is, the longer it's going to take to dry. So just keep that in mind, but you do want it to be liquidy enough that all the powder gets creamed. Okay, so when you have that to the right consistency, you're going to take your little pan and you're just going to empty it out into your pan. So once it's in your pan, you're just going to pick it up and drop it a few times just to smooth it all out. Now what I would do at this point is since it's not filled up as much as I'd want it to be, I would just add a little bit more powder and continue it and add you know, a little bit more to that and then drop it to where it gets to this consistency. But for purpose of this tutorial, that looks pretty good. So then what you're going to do is you're going to set this aside to dry for at least an hour. You're going to want it to dry until you can put your finger on it and powder comes off. It's not all, you know, gooey and stuff. I pressed one earlier. This is your ladyship pigment. Just so you guys could see the next step. So you can see that it's nice and powdery and therefore it's ready for the next step. So the next step, you're going to take a piece of cloth. It doesn't have to be this big, obviously, and you're going to put it over it. And then you're going to take a quarter. I actually take two quarters. I stack them up and you're going to put them right over that pigment and it's going to fit right in the groove. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to set it under something very heavy. So what I do is I set it under a set of encyclopedias. Like I line up all the pigments I've pressed and I put it under there and I let it sit overnight. Another thing I do is I like to get a little name tag for the bottom and write what the name of the pigment is and then I can also put a magnet on there if I want to so that it can be magnet in my little palette. But that is how you press pigments. So I hope this was helpful to people that couldn't figure out how to do it or have never tried. It's really not hard. It's a lot easier than depotting shadows which is another tutorial that I'm going to do soon. So this is something very simple that you guys can try out if you want if you're in a do-it-yourself mood and also one more thing there's a website called thebodyneeds.com and they sell pigment samples. So you would get, for $1.50, you'd get a fourth of a tablespoon. Now I found through trial and error that the best amount for a pressed pigment is three of those. So you can go on there and pick colors you want and then order three of each color you want and have a pressed pigment for like six bucks as opposed to, you know, buying a pigment full size for $19.50 or buying an eyeshadow for $14.50. You can have one for $6. So I'll put a link in the sidebar, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.